So today, what we are going to do is we are going to do a versus video between the DeWalt Atomic Impact Driver versus the Makita Impact Driver. Now, both DeWalt and Makita have more powerful impact drivers. So we're just going to use two amp hour batteries today and see which one of these prevail. And uh, they're both brushless. They're both great tools. I love the Atomic line. Some people hate it. You know, and yes, both companies do make a better modeled impact driver. This is an equal match because this is not De DeWalt's best and this is not Makita's best. So this is an equal match. So please don't blow up my comments and saying that this is not fair, which this is. All right, so first we're gonna start with the Makita. Uh, the model number for this is XDT13. Uh, variable trigger only. Uh, goes to zero to 34 RPMs and zero to zero to 3600 impacts per minute. LED light on the bottom, and that's pretty much it. So that's the Makita. For the Dewalt, this is model number DCF809. Uh, 18 volts. Uh, sorry, 20 volt system. 18 volt system. So this goes to 0 to 2800 uh, RPMs and 0 to 3200 impacts per minute, which this is actually 600 RP, the DeWalt is 600 RPMs less and also 400 impacts per minute less. Alrighty, so we are going to do the Makita first. The battery is full. Alrighty, so... First things first is the collet push in. Yes, it is. Collet's pushing. They're good to go. All right, so ready? Go. Time. Now, if we are using Hilti hex bits, all right, it is uh, DeWalt's time. Now, me personally, I love the Atomic line. I do, because in my needs, I do not need the most powerful impact to work on the house. All right, so ready, go. Time. Not too shabby, not too shabby at all. One right here. All right, so ready, go. We'll do one more. Ready, go. Time. All right, so let's take out two at once for Makita. Ready, go. All right, take two out for the DeWalt. So ready, go. Time. So when it comes to the battery, the uh, flex fault proved that it actually majorly increases the power of the atomic line. Majorly increases the power. In some cases, the battery saves the tool when it comes to a versus video. So this is only between two amp hour versus two amp hour. I'm pretty sure once we do, uh, revisit this test, uh, six amp hour versus six amp hour, it's gonna be a different story. All right, so we are going to do a couple of specs. We got some five inch, uh, six inch specs right here. All right, so ready, go. Time. Let's do one more. All right, so ready. So let's do two for the Makita. All right, so ready, go. That, that 
Nikita really is quiet too. It's a lot quieter. All right, one more. Ready, go. Time. All right, so DeWalt is gonna take out Makita's and Makita's gonna take out DeWalt. Battery is at two bars. So ready, go. Time. All right, so let's take out the DeWalt's. Battery is at full bar still. So ready, go. Time. All right, so we're, we're gonna see how these do driving in a four inch lag screw. All right, we are good to go. All right, so ready, go. I'm just gonna edit that part that I stopped out, uh, edit the time, and then start it back up when I go back. All right, never mind. So this was a 5.5. That was a 5.5, not a four. All right, so we're gonna do a 5.5. Because I got the, I got both of the fours right here, so I drove in the five. Oh, well, that's that's all right. We'll just do two 5.5s. So ready, go. So DeWalt is going to take out Makita's and Makita's is going to take out DeWalt's. Yeah, we got it. A little bit more. A little bit more. There we go. All right, so ready, go. I think it did a good job. I think it did a good job. Now remember, just because if a tool loses in time doesn't mean that it's a crappy tool. Makita is going to take out DeWalt's lag. All right, so ready, go. All right, I was proven wrong. I thought I honestly thought that both of these were going to struggle taking those out. I thought they were. I do not know what the results are. Uh, I find that out during the video edit. I have a feeling that Makita won on this one because it seemed to do the job with a little less effort. The battery is three bars on the Makita and the battery on the DeWalt is two bars. So that doesn't, uh, when it comes to versus, uh, battery comparison, this one has four bars display. This one has three. So the batteries are prob probably the same. But once again, the model number for the Makita is XDT13, and the model number for the Atomic is DCF809. I wish I had a decibel meter and a scale so I could weigh these. I'll be getting those soon. Uh, a lot of comments saying that I should uh, weigh them. So, so I will. I listen to my viewers, and that's what, that's what I do. I have a feeling the DeWalt lost, but it doesn't mean it's a crappy tool. I personally love the, the Atomic system. It's good, especially the drill. It's, it's uh, extremely light and compact, and it's powerful enough to do most jobs. And, and that's it. You know, it's, I love this drill, just the size of it alone with the power you get with the size and the weight. It's extremely lightweight. Now, to, a lot, to some people, weight is a lot because if you're up on a, a 16 foot ladder and the last thing you want to deal with is a heavy tool, then you got to extend your arm and, and hold it there while you work.
I, I have a feeling, a feeling the Makita won on this one, which like I said, these are not the most powerful impacts these companies make, nor are these the batteries. In a previous video, I already proven that the FlexVolt system, the FlexVolt batteries majorly increase the power to the atomic line. This is just a video of two amp hour versus two amp hour. For some tools, a low amp hour battery actually decreases the performance. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to do the first video of this. And so this is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.